Hi, it's Gary again, and welcome back to day seven. So, yesterday we talked about my favourite friends, the black marble and the white marble. And if you remember, that was all about negative uh, suggestions, positive suggestions, negative attitudes, positive attitudes that you and I may have during the day. In fact, it's another friend of mine. Uh, it's called a mug of marbles. And in fact, this lovely chap at the front, he's called Emil Kue. On the back of the mug, there's his favourite phrase, every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. And what Emil found out in the early 20th century is that your unconscious mind, when it's in a battle with your conscious mind, will always win out. Okay, and what that really means is your imagination is so much more powerful than the conscious talks that you have with yourself. So today's task is to be aware of Emil Kuei's law, all right, which is when the imagination is in conflict with your conscious mind, the imagination will always win out. And what I'd like you to do is think about the questions that you would ask yourself to invoke the powerful imagination that you have. You see, it's questions that will do that. All right. Now, I've recently read a fantastic book by Noel St. John called Affirmations. And, and to really sort of, sort of trim it all the way down, you know, I could do another three or four videos on this. What he found out is that affirmations, i.e. I'm better and better and better, really didn't help a lot of people, and in particular himself. However, when he asked himself this type of question, why am I now feeling better? His unconscious mind naturally had to search for the answer. And because of that, the unconscious mind will be working in the background. A little bit like uh, an operating system that you'll be using on the computer, if you're watching this on a computer anyway, or a laptop, will be using behind the scenes. You're not aware of it, it's just doing it automatically, okay? So my task for you today is, what types of questions could you ask yourself to begin to invoke your unconscious mind to create the life you really, really want? So for example, um, why am I feeling so happy today? Why am I eating in a more healthier way? Uh, why do I find my business growing each and every day? Why is my business increasing each and every day? Why is it now easy to present and talk to a large group of people? Why am I now eating in such a healthy way, my body's losing weight and I feel great? Do you get the idea? Okay, so it's about asking yourself questions to evoke the unconscious part of your mind to do what Noel St. John says, and that's to reduce what's called the belief gap. And the belief gap is, this is where you are at the moment, and this is where you'd like to be. And because the gap for a lot of people can seem so wide, to reduce it down is all down to the questions you ask yourself. Now, this has been a little bit longer than normal today on purpose, because I want to encourage you to really, really practice and have fun with questions. So far, I've been getting fantastic results. Anyhow, that's day seven. Tomorrow, obviously, will be day eight. Uh, flying over to uh, Belfast this weekend to see friends. I'll still make video recordings, okay? And if I'm unable to upload them during the weekend, I'll pop them on Monday for you. That's the deal, isn't it? Anyhow, so until then, this is Gary Foster saying bye for now.